thank y'all for coming tonight. This is our second public hearing regarding the proposed increase of the Harris County tax millage rate. Um, we will have a third hearing on August the 20th at our 7 p.m. That's next Tuesday, August the 20th, 7 p.m., our regular meeting, regularly scheduled board commissioners meeting. But we would like for any of your comments tonight, we would like you to keep it to five minutes. And um, Commissioner Zerner is going to be our timekeeper. And uh, we're going to have some comments first by our uh, county manager, Randy Dowling. He's going to read us the uh, legal notice for the tax increase. Madam Chair, if I may just make a comment before we start. Sure. Uh, I want to offer my apologies to those who came this morning. Uh, I guess I pushed the wrong button and I showed up one hour late for the meeting this morning. But I want to assure those, it was, I understand it was taped and will be on YouTube, and I want to assure those who made comments that I will watch that YouTube so I can hear their comments and see what they want. Thank you, sir. I apologize. Madam Chairman, Board of Commissioners, again, this is the second of three public hearings as required by the state when a county uh, is proposing to increase its tax rate. Uh, the Board of Commissioners approved the annual budget on June 18th of this year after many public workshops and public hearings. The approved budget totaled $39 million, and it began on July 1st and will end on June 30, 2020. It takes the county $39 million to operate for one year. Of the total budget of $39 million, the journal funds portion, where most county departments are located, such as parks and rec, building inspections, um, finance, tax assessor, those kind of departments. Um, of the $39 million total budget, the journal fund consists of $23.1 million. Of that $23.1 million journal fund budget, 10.64 million is needed from property taxes to adequately fund the county government for one year. And again, that budget has been already approved back in June by the board. It looks like this, and it's on the county's website. However, the general fund was balanced using 1.4 million from reserves or previous year's savings from the general fund and the solid waste fund, which is not typically a good practice and is unsustainable. However, to adequately fund the approved budget, have less reliance on other funds, such as the uh, solid waste fund, to balance the general fund budget, and to prepare, to prepare for future growth that we all know is coming, and to sufficiently fund upcoming projects, such as the implementation of the upcoming employee compensation plan, update of the county's antiquated land use and development codes, clean up Ellerslie Park from the March 2019 tornado, restore and develop Ellerslie Park into a nice park, maintain the new rails to trails linear park, and generally replace outdated equipment and vehicles. A property tax rate increase is needed to be considered. The county's tax rate right now is 8.63 mills and is proposing to increase to 9.38 mills, which is a 0.75 mill property tax increase or 9.36% above the rollback rate of 8.577. This proposed property tax increase will increase county taxes, county taxes paid by $64.24 on a $200,000 home. Even with, this property, even with this proposed property tax increase, the overall property tax rate for the entire county, meaning the county and the school systems, will be reduced as compared to last year since the Board of Education has already rolled back their millage rate by 1.3 mills. So the Board of Education decreased their millage rate by 1.3 mills as of last week and the county is proposing to increase its millage rate by 0.75, which is an overall decrease as compared to last fiscal, uh, as compared to last year. Again, this is the first of three state required, this is the second 
of the, of the state required public hearings. After this one, the last and the third one and last one will be Tuesday, August 20th at 7 p.m. in this room. That includes my comments. Thank you. As I said, you'll each have five minutes. Um, and if, when you come forward, if you could please give your name and address for the records. Is there anyone who would like to make any comments? I'd like to ask a question. If you come forward, sir, to state your name and, and your address. once you factor in uh, both the county and the school system. Okay. I'm sorry, I missed your name. Yeah, I'm sorry, I missed your name. Your she, name? She knows. It's Roy Saxon. I'm sorry. In your address? 285 Rosewood. Okay. Right. okay. And thank you for fixing the roads. Okay. I'm just sitting on the number. Are you for or are you? Oh, I'm against any of them. Okay. And, and the reason for it is out here in the county, you got a whole bunch of people who like me retired and we're on a fixed income. We don't get to up our income to, to be able to pay you more money. You know, we're stuck. So, yeah, I'm against it. Thank you, Mr. Sanders. Sure. Anyone else want, want to make any comments about the proposed village increase? Well, yes. I might as well jump in. I'm new to Harris County. I've been here less than a year. Your name, sir, and your address, please. Joe Burris. I'm at 252 Happy Hollow Road in, in your district. Yeah. Um, B U R R I S. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I was reading this about the pending cost development improvements associated with the growth project. I said this is my first meeting. Uh, I'm not familiar with a lot of this. That's a uh, subdivision project, correct? And the builders don't pay for that, and the county pays for the improvements? What are you? On the growth project? The growth? Growth projects right here on the I will tell you that there is a binding contract with the growth that is enforceable that was put into place about uh, 2014. And it is enforceable. It is, and we, that's the reason. That's where the county commission at that time committed to put county funds and to make an improvements for their subdivision. You can get a copy of the contract okay. under open records. Okay. And if you send this to mine. Okay, I'm just trying to educate myself. Oh, no, I think it's okay. great. Okay. I think it's great. Okay, okay. well, thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, sir. <coughs> Henry Apple on the road. I'd just like to address y'all to have you consider us old folks that live here. It's been here for a number of years. And uh, I know that this small mountain village sounds great, but next year may be a different story. And I know what the, the county needs new water, new police, and uh, we need a whole lot of stuff here. And so it's bound to go up. And uh, it just won't have to happen. But if y'all would consider the older people that's on fixed income 
take into consideration if you can find some way to put something in there that would help us. We own fixed income, and uh, I've been retired for 26 years. And uh, you know, you know, savings run out. And uh, while I think I'm prepared to to uh, take care of the increases, I know there are a lot of people that are not. And I know some of them. And so, uh, if you would just do that for us old people, it'd be appreciated. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Anyone else? We want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to speak and tell us, yes, sir. <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. Marvin Willingham, 812 Big Sky Drive. Thank you. I've been in Harris County for 12 or 20 years, and we moved to Harris County because it was quote the county to move to. And we are now retired, and my tech gentleman just said we own fixed income. And on Biscay Drive, and now with the taxes wanting to go up again, we are only a little over a mile subdivision. We've had seven houses to go up on this subdivision within the last probably year and a half to two years. You are gonna be getting a lot of tax from these houses that's gone up. With the growth of Harris County, which is great, I mean, it's good that we're getting the growth for Harris County. But with all these new subdivisions that's going up, and the tax revenue that's going to be coming in from these homes, you know, I just, it's hard for us who's retired to sit here and have to pay a tax increase on fixed income when it's gone up a couple of times over the last what, two to three years. I know that County tax went up, yeah. and then the commissioners put an increase. So it, it's just hard for us to visualize with the growth of Harris County, with these subdivisions and these developers coming in here, as for instance, like that gentleman said, the growth project. Why should taxpayers be involved? Why should taxpayers be involved with Melody Dam? You know, we don't live in Melody Dam and have anything to do with that. So why should taxpayers, you know, that to me should be a problem of that area, not the whole county of the taxpayers covering these expenses. Well, I tell you that it has been determined by the state that we own the dam because we own the road that goes, because there was a commission, uh, board of commissioners that accepted that road. And they have determined that we own the dam. So the county the owns the dam? Yes, sir. But <laughs> that's, that's just my I statement of, yeah. uh, ahead, but like I say, it's hard when you're retired and on fixed income. Yes, sir, I'm and it goes I'm retired. <laughs> or either get to a certain age, 65 or 70, can the people get a tax break <coughs> if you're that age? I mean, could it be looked at? Clint, Clint, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it still about 25 cents out of every tax dollar that the county receives? Or is it a little more than that? Percentage of county versus total I know one more thing yes, that I wish for. So, like I say, I've been in Harris County for 27 years, but I've never had a child in Harris County High School. I have a daughter that was teaching in Harris County, and that's the reason because she likes Harris County and the school system are good. But our taxes are what, 50 percent or more that go. The school. That's what I was just pointing to that. Yeah, it's 30, 30, 30. So, so 75, 25, that's what I was asking. 75, 25? We received about 25. I'd be 35. About 35 now. Okay. Thank you. So, it's about that you know, it's, it's like maybe, maybe somewhere down the line that can be a break with this. You know? Thank you, sir. 
And I would recommend that, of course, that would be an issue for the school board. Okay. The, the school taxes. Right. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Thanks. Anyone else? My name's Angela Dennis, 2029 West Fawn Acre, and I oppose. I just oppose the taxes too. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else want to make any comment? I was just like, yeah, I, I'm not trying to jump back up here and talk again, but. Five years ago, when we were arguing about the road, and the commission's main argument was we need the base, we need the infrastructure, we need the more houses up here to make up the taxes we need for schools and whatever. And I don't, I don't know. It just seems like to me that this is another run of the same thing that we had five years ago. And hey, we need money, y'all got to pay it. We don't have a well, we had a 2.5 million increase in 2017. Mm -hmm. We have not had an increase since 2002 until 2017. I understand. This is only two years. Yes, sir. I understand that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? No one else? Yes, ma'am. Tommy Hyatt. Okay, from this morning, okay, I, am, I understand that not, from 2002 to 2017, there was no increase. Okay, can you, who on this board was on here on 2000? Between those years, is there were still people between 2002 and 2017? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. okay. Anybody else? Well, it looks to me like I don't un understand. I I wasn't here through all those years, but why was there no increase? If there's been a from this morning, this guy said there was a there's been a 40 percent increase since in the last two years. Okay, so why why did this board not, or I'll, I'll direct it to you two, why did you not raise the mill levy? Or why why in those 15 years there wasn't any? Man, this, yes. this hearing is not, as I say, it is not for an exchange. It is for okay. It is for But well, I'm glad to talk to you off. Well, we would be glad to talk to you off. Okay. I'm asking that question, and, and maybe we all should think about that when we go to vote next time. Thank you. Anyone else? No other comments? Yeah. How do we stop it? How do we stop the increase? We can't. Anyone else? 